Hey guys, what's up? I'm about to uh, head out this morning. I'm going out to a festival. I'm going to be flipping burgers. And um, so I thought I'd try and squeeze in a quick rapid game for you before we go. And I'm playing somebody rated 1674. And we have the King's Gambit. Wow, wow, wow. From Brazil. Okay. So this will be the only video for four days, so I'm going to make it last, guys, yeah? Okay, so I think we go here and expect them to take, and then we push forward onto e4. This is a, uh, a an oddball defense against the King's Gambit that Naroditsky promoted. Um, that's where I first saw it. Went back and checked that one. It's kind of interesting. Okay, in comes the knight. So he didn't take... All right then. We don't have to worry about this bishop because normally it's takes, takes, bishop comes down and then there are ideas of getting a, a fork on king and bishop if they castle prematurely, which in this case they have not done. Okay, I have uh, 97. It's a possibility. We need to... No, we don't. That's fine. I think 97 looks good. Try and trade off our opponent's only good piece. Now, what if they take here, though? I'll recapture with my pawn. And then is the bishop going to come out? Well, that's just kind of a different move order, actually, to the existing thing. So I think that's all right. They take, take, bishop out. Now, the difference is... Oh, he's, so he's captured that pawn. Okay. Ah, oh, just not paying attention today. Okay, so this is a free pawn. If I take the knight, he's going to recapture somehow. I get to capture here. If I capture here now, then I'm isolating his queen's pawn, which I kind of like. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do that. My pawn is not isolated. I might want to be doing this at some point. Okay. Um. Now, I, I, I do have f5 if I want it, but the risk here is obviously that. Um, and I don't have a bishop out for any kind of Lucchini style thing. Um, if I play the check here, it's just going to play g3. So I need to defend this pawn. I can't see any any other way other than uh, knight to here. Then if he, for example, does this, I, I do have f6 to kick the knight away. And he doesn't have time to attack my knight. Okay. Do we kick the knight away now? I think that's probably a good idea. He's right up in my face. I'm not too keen on it. Or do I capture it? If I capture, I'm anticipating f takes... And then I've got a rook and a bishop looking down on this. So I'm thinking kick him away for that reason. And again, this pop-up saying outgoing whatever is still hanging around, chess.com. Fix it, please. It's annoying. Didn't even need it in the first place. But sort your Ajax out, guys. Kind of oddly placed knight here now. So Alberto Raujo, 67. Damn, dude's older than me. I mean, he's not got a bad position here. What? No, this pawn is not isolated, is it? This guy. He can still build a pawn chain if he wants. This bishop, though. Looking a bit awkward. Um, he might think about Fianchetto. He's going to have to do something with his horse, though. My lovely horse. You go there, I, I just kill you. You go there, I might kill you. Bringing the queen out into the board. 
Well, what other options are there? You've got one square, dude. So let's say the knight. This knight's going to be there. What does that look like? What's he worried about? Why is he taking his time? There? Do I push a pawn and kick him? Or do I move my knight, for example, knight b6, attacking the undefended bishop, and then double attacking the knight? That's, that's what he's worried about. Is that what you're worried about? Is that your problem? The knight's the only defender of the bishop, and it doesn't look like there's any threat to the bishop, but... Okay. Hmm. Checkity doo da. Now. I have this though. Hits the queen. Queen can't take knight because bishop takes. I go here. Hits queen. Queen, queen can't stay there. Can't go there because of pawn. Can't go there because of knight. I go here. Bishop comes in. Bishop he lost. I think it's kind of forced, isn't it? That move. I take, queen takes, I can't block with a knight, right. Okay, he's took a pawn, and he's attacking my rook. Oh man, this is nasty. Um, I take him, queen takes, yeah, and then there's a, a mate threat here. And I think what I have to do is I have to lift my queen. Hang on. Now, I take queen takes, I'm in check. I move, oh, what can I do? I take queen takes, I'm in check. I go here, queen goes here. No, that's okay. What a sequence. I mean, I've, I've had problems like this before down this side of the board. Queen can't go there, there's no check there, there's no check there. My knight is still actually, bizarrely, I'm clinging on. I did have a game like this the other day. It wasn't from the King's Gambit. Um, but I do like these positions, you know. You get into this in the Russo and Lucchini sometimes as well. Okay, he's grabbed a pawn. Well done. With check. So do I have to come here? I think it's forced. I mean, I can't block with the knight. I can't block with anything else. I can't go here, here, here. Okay, there we go. Forced. Now, what I'm kind of worried about is actually this bishop coming in. So I think maybe that move, f5, might be quite essential here. Because, I mean, that, that's the hidey hole. That's where I want to be, in there. So I'm, I'm bleeding pawns out here. But... Two of them are Gary and Harry. There we go. I expected that move. Um, if I go here, bishop comes out with check. I have to go to b6. Do I? No, I go here, bishop comes out with check. I, I can develop my bishop. That seems all right. Now, I'm not in check right now, of course. So, you know, maybe there are other options. So let's have a think. Can I prevent the bishop from going to that square? Well, no. My knight's miscolored. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go here. And this is my idea. Block. There's no e-pawn. So I can put a piece on here quite happily, I think. Yes. I think we're okay. And this is how positions can just... Degenerate, you know. Okay, I can't block with the knight. If I come here, he's got rookie one check. <clears throat> but again, so I go here. I'll end up back on f8, won't I? But maybe I'm living to fight another day. I mean, there's no other option, is there? The material is actually equal. I've, I'm a. A knight down. I'm a knight up. I've got two knights, but he's got three more pawns than I have. Oh, what would you prefer in this situation? Okay. This, I think, is now forced. What 
a bun fight. That pawn's undefended. So I'd love to capture there. I'd also love to stick my queen here as well. Okay. Um, I can't block. No, I'm dead. Aren't I dead? Dead as a dodo. What a collapse. And that, guys, is what you get when you're nearly 1700. Absolutely taken apart. Now, I don't know if my opponent saw any of that at the start, but... I mean, look, this, this simply wins, wins the queen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just dead. There we go. Well played. So I lost six points there. Quick look at the review. I mean, did I actually screw up there? That's the question. He played 19, he played perfectly. He played perfectly. One mistake made all the difference. Okay, there were two mistakes in here. Let's have a look. So this is okay. Takes. 97 is best. Yeah, I'm playing fine so far. Half a pawn difference, nothing. Knight h6 is best, okay. And that f6 was the mistake. Never play f6, right? Never move your f pawn. I'm inviting him into the game. Um, <clears throat> so the best move here was to go after the bishop. So the situation is we've got two attacking pieces that are teaming up against the f-pawn. <coughs> Not an uncommon situation. I decided to try and go after one of them, but then fell to this. All right? What I should have done is go after the other one. And then we're absolutely fine. He has to drop the bishop back here. And we've got a very kind of balanced position. But you can see that from there, it just all fell apart. I moved the f but I didn't think about the queen. I forgot the golden rule. There's a lot of best moves here, right? How did I play in this? 76. So I played like a 1550. Hello, I am a 1550, right? It's like 1551 now after this game. Um... But he played absolutely impeccably. So, very well done. Short video. Um, but there you go. I mean, there's, there's a lesson in it. Even, even a game like this, there's always a lesson in it. Right? And very often the lesson is don't move your F-pawn. But hey, you know, that's a cross I have to bear. Um, but yeah. Good point here. Yeah, I'm still worried about this. Yes, the pawn is guarded twice. I should have gone after. So, I mean, what's the follow-up after this? Actually. Now it's saying f6 or knight d5. Knight d5 and block the bishop's view. All right. Living, learning, loving playing chess. Thanks for watching. See you in a few days.